Hello YouTubers. So I get you up to speed on what I've done today. This is the frame after I flipped it over and finished welding the bottom side of it. Uh, the engine mount components. And these, I realize it's a little dark, I'm sorry about that, are the rear legs that I'm mocking, beginning to mock up for welding onto the rest of the frame. And here's where I realized I better check the angle to make sure my ground clearance was going to be right and make sure I had enough room for my tire and engine and everything. When I realized that my angle was wrong and I was going to have about a half inch ground clearance underneath the thing. So here we are modifying the the angles on the uh, rear legs. I don't know if there's a point me zooming in on it. Um, okay, here I have it recalculated and marked and cut and cleaned up. And I am bracing it, getting it ready to weld, trying to make sure everything's true and square and straight. And what not? And I've welded uh, one side, and now you see I'm jigging up the other side and getting it ready to weld. And there is the unit with the rear tire and the axle on it. I set it on a frame and set a uh, level on it so I could measure my ground clearance. So I have about three and a half inches um, back here by the engine. And I jacked it up a little bit because I want to have an inch more in the front. And I was using the bubble for guidance to make sure I'm on track. And it's working. There's just another shot of it with the engine mount plate on it. It hasn't been drilled yet. And there I am drilling it. I got one more hole to drill in this shot. And here is where I'm checking my drillings with the bolts up to the bottom of the plate to make sure they do in fact fit the engine. And this is the secondary plate that's going to hold the motor up high enough that that uh, starter cover won't drag the ground because it does hang down lower than the engine itself, lower than the base plate. Uh, this, I came to realization that the kickstand I built is not going to function as I thought. The uh, tabs here are too big to get in the way of the mounting bolts. I won't be able to get in there and put them in place and tighten them up. So I'm having to rethink that whole thing. That's how I had designed it to go. And it's way off. It's, it's no good. This is an idea I got from Brennan V101 using cardboard to make your gaskets. Well, I use the same technique on the put oil on the bottom of the engine and laid this piece of cardboard I cut up against it to mark the hole so I could see where the holes go. And I transferred them onto the metal with a metal marking pencil before I drilled my holes. Of course, I measured and got everything centered where I wanted it. That's a wonderful idea. That works great. And here is this fuzzy, I know, but if you see the screws coming up through the motor and you can see the sandwich plate I was just drilling below the main base plate, which I should have got a better picture of this, but it actually it lets this blue cover hang down off the side and does not touch anything, which was the whole point of making this extra plate. And there's just another shot of me toying with the kickstand trying to come up with a solution to resolve this. I don't want to weld the mounting plate on until I get that mounted because I'm afraid I'll have to get into the bottom to weld and the mounting plate will be in the way. So I left that up in the air for tonight. Here I am in my office um, marking out my uh, triple trees and fork supports 
using my diagrams and all that stuff to mark them where I'm going to drill them. Uh, it's just warmer in here in the house. It was cold today, again. Um, plus, I could sit down and do it in comfort instead of standing up over a work workbench where I can't see. And this is another shot of that, but it didn't come out real well. You can kind of see some lines where I have it drawn out in a couple of spots here. It's kind of vague. Hey, anyway, that's what I've been up to today. Now it takes us back to the beginning. Well, i got to go back to work tomorrow, so I don't know if I'll have time to actually do anything and get a video posted or not. If not, it'll be uh, just a few days till I'm back at it. I think I have a short week this week. Alright, well, uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned. We'll see this thing come to life. Bye.